what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crash on startup or crashing on startup issue currently having with ghost recon wide line so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit, and I'm going to really, really be thankful for that, and I'm going to thank you for that. So, anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So, the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen, where you're going to right-click your taskbar and open up your task manager. So, once this what pops up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking into processes, and once you click processes, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. Type in G in order to find Ghost Recon Wildlands. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply hit right click and end task. Once you finish with that, I want you to end the task manager again. Then I want you to search for your launcher shortcut for me, it's Steam and your or, or your uh, game shortcut and if you don't have it there you simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen click into the windows symbol use the windows search function in order to find it so once you found it simply drag it right back onto your desktop let's quickly come back take your shortcut right click it and hit run as an administrator this will make your launcher stored and i want you to launch a game over the launcher or directly the game and if it crashes again return back to your shortcut right click it go to the very bottom where it says properties then this tab will pop up, click into compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run this program compatibility mode for it. Select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. I want you to simply double click it and launch a game over the launcher, launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.